you're probably asking yourself, what's with this guy and responding to all these videos? And well, it's the most popular internet train in the moment, and I like trains, and I like popular trains, and I like getting onto trains. Trains are nice. Now I know I did a lot of the, these small scope video things, and now, well, recently I came across this great new stupid thing from where else than the United States of America. It's called MTV. color have to deal with racial microaggressions every single day. So How very nice of you to acknowledge that people have color. You know, every person has a color. It is extremely racist of you to assume that only blacks, Asians, uh, and whatever have colors. You know, white people have color too. And not only that, they have different colors. For example, Mexicans are a different color than Germans. Germans are a different color than Gypsies. Gypsies are a different color than what? Slavs. Slavs are a different color than Jews, and so on and so on. And these are all Caucasians. Microaggressions are those little unintentional insults that. Na kraju sam rekao. Vi svi pripadnici sekretarijata Haškog tribunala možete samo da prihvatite da mi popušite kuljac. Now you see, that was an actual insult. He meant it. He directed it at somebody or a, a certain group of people, in this case the Hague Tribunal, and he said something very vulgar and offensive. That's an insult. Basically, see people of color as stereotypes, which got me thinking: What if white people had to deal with racial microaggressions? So, like, where are you from? No, no, like, where are you really from? What this might surprise you, but questions like this are very common among white people, especially in Slovenia and especially in the Balkans. People often ask each other where are you from because for example in Slovenia we have what 85 different dialects um, and where are you from well means exactly that what part of Slovenia are you from what village what town what city are you from or if you are not from there what uh, pa part of the country your family is from because it is very likely that your family knows the family of the person asking you this question, and also it is very likely that you two are related. Now, on the other hand, for example, if you have a per, uh, surname that uh, ends with itch, uh, it's very likely that you're not Slovenian, it is very likely that you are from some other state of the former Yugoslavia. And the question, where are you from? also means this. Where are you from, where or where your family is from? Because again, you might be related to the person that's asking you this question, or you and his, your and his family might be from the same part of Yugoslavia, maybe even from the same village. That is why white people ask each other the question, where are you from, all the time, and it's not strange, it's not an insult, and it's not a microaggression. Why do I have an accent? Like a... I invite you to look at this map. The different colors on the map signify the different dialect groups in Slovenia. And there are only two and a half million people in the entire country. Now again, asking people why don't they have an accent is not racist. It's not even, what, citist? Townist? What? It's not discriminatory, because all people have accents, as you Americans call them. Look at this group of two and a half million people with more than 85 groups of accents. And each of these groups divided numerously into different dialects by, uh, by the village.
Don't speak Gaelic. You don't speak German. Can you say a curse word in European? You know, like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Welcome to Europe, my racist friend, where it is normal to speak your ancestral language because nations disappear if they don't have their language. So, again, asking somebody to speak in their native or ancestral language is nothing strange, because, well, people know the, the language of their nation. They are raised in that language. They know that language. I mean, you cannot have a nation without a language. Now, look at this map carefully. See all the languages that persist? Even the language, so-called islands, of Rusins in um, Ukraine and in um, Romania, or the language islands of Slovaks in Croatia and Serbia, they have been there for hundreds of years, and they still speak their ancestral language. White food. No real flavor to it. Never an upset tummy. Hello, my racist friends. Observe this map. This is the map of the distribution of races in the pre-Columbian era. Look at the part of the map covered in green. Did you seriously just insult the food of all those peoples? Did all your ancestors own slaves? No, but of course. This might surprise you, my racist friend, but in the Balkans, we, the white people, the evil white man or whatever, did not own black slaves. And we even revered black people that we saw every once in a hundred years. Look at this coat of arms of a Slovenian city. It has a black person in it. Look it up how it came to this. Of course he wishes that he could still own slaves. That's a part of his culture. Bryce, back me up on this one. The thing you have to understand about white culture no, is I that white people... I can't believe I, a European, a white man, have to teach you, Americans, about your American history. Particularly about the transatlantic slave trade. Do you know who enslaved all those black people that were sold across the Atlantic to the evil white men? It was other black people. And these black people made a lot of money of selling other black people. Can you say how ridiculous this was? I know. And extremely racist. Story of my life. If you've ever experienced microaggressions because of your race, gender, sexuality, or body type, go ahead and vent about it in the comments. Triggered, triggered, triggered. Oh. I know I chose for myself a real easy target, but it was fun nonetheless. I hope you enjoy learning about Europe and how racist Americans are. This is also why I will never go to America. Also partly because of the Patriot Act and the question, are you or have you ever been a member of the communist organization that they ask you when you enter the country?